Did you know that an albatross can sleep while it flies? Amazing isn't it? Please join me, and not to forget subscribing this time, will you? The common muir or common guillemot, Uria ulge, is a large orc. It has a circumpolar distribution, occurring in low Arctic and boreal waters in the North Atlantic and North Pacific. It spends most of its time at sea, only coming to land to breed on rocky cliff shores or islands. Common murs have fast direct flight but are not very agile. They are more maneuverable underwater. Common murs breed in colonies at high densities. Nesting pairs may be in bodily contact with their neighbors. They make no nest, their single egg is incubated on a bare rock ledge on a cliff face. Eggs hatch after 30 days incubation. The chick is born downy and can regulate its body temperature after 10 days. Some 20 days after hatching the chick leaves its nesting ledge and heads for the sea, unable to fly, but gliding for some distance with fluttering wings, accompanied by its male parent. Male guillemots spend more time diving, and dive more deeply than females during this time. Chicks are capable of diving as soon as they hit the water. The female stays at the nest site for some 14 days after the chick has left. Both male and female common murs molt after breeding and become flightless for one to two months. In some populations they occasionally return to the nest site throughout the winter. Adult birds reduce the time that they spend flying during the winter and are able to forage nocturnally. Male and female are indistinguishable in the field. In breeding plumage, the nominate subspecies is black on the head, back and wings, and has white underparts. It has thin dark pointed bill and a small rounded dark tail. After the pre-basic molt, the face is white with a dark spur behind the eye. Occasionally, adults are seen with yellow legs. The plumage of first winter birds is the same as the adult basic plumage. However, the first pre-alternate molt occurs later in the year. The adult pre-alternate molt is December to February. First year birds can be in basic plumage as late as May, and their alternate plumage can retain some white feathers around the throat. The common muir mainly eats small schooling forage fish, such as polar cod, capelin, sand lances, sprats, sand eels, Atlantic cod and Atlantic herring. Caplin and sand lances are favorite food, but what the main prey is at any one time depends much on what is available in quantity. Thank you very much for joining me, God bless you. See you soon, bye.